All right, we are live. It is Wednesday night, March 20th. The 2024 CrossFit Open is, I guess, behind us, maybe. Feel, uh, it doesn't feel that way. I'm sure we, we still have lots to talk about. It's not finalized yet, but right. It feels pretty over we're to not, me, man. We're not doing any uh, we're not doing any more workouts with respect to it. Uh, I am joined here to, I guess, my right, uh, Tyler Watkins, Heat One app. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm good. I'm good. And uh, on the far end, Mr. John Young, JY Barbell himself, and uh, the senior analyst of the CrossFit space. You better watch out, though. I know. Will Brandstetter's coming <laughs> for you, bro. Will Brandstetter, I'm going to have to. You know what? You're safe, though, because Will couldn't be bothered to talk about it. <laughs> he he wouldn't do it. That's true. <laughs> he just he just put the heat one and then calls it a day. Listen, listen, yeah. everybody. I picked Julia Hannaford and I got screwed <laughs> on it. And I would have been in first place after that pick. And then since I got screwed on it, I just I gave up on it. I was like, all right, I'm done. I was upset. I I think I did very very poorly. I didn't even and, look. And it was it was ugly after week one, and I put my picks in, but it was bad. I, I am interested part. who won out of us on the bracket. Oh, we'll come back to that. That, that was very ugly as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I don't like think when any an athlete of us... pulls out and then like just shit keeps going wrong. Athletes tie. <laughs> Tia, Tia barely does 24.3. <laughs> I mean, it was. It's very difficult to pick a bracket without even knowing the workouts. Yeah, very difficult. Like, it's very critical about that. And then it, you also find out who cares about it and who doesn't. Like Dallin, he was paying attention. He cares. Valner you know, cared. We could have never. Like I knew at the beginning, I was like, "This is a pretty straightforward bracket. Like we should be able to get this pretty close." And like Emma Carey, like Tia, like all the things that went wrong. Like we could have never made those prop well, bets. It feels like March Madness because oh, like, yeah. you're like, I don't know how I lose a game. Maybe lose one or two, but and then what, the 15, what would be 15, interesting, 15. Tyler, is to see how the brackets changed if it wasn't one, two, three, but it was three, two, one, or two, three, one, or one, three, two. Like, oh, yeah, how yeah, yeah. Different yeah. would it be just because of the order of of how they came out? Because 24.3 is way different than it was 24.1. And yeah. so you just had an unfortunate matchup the first week. Um, like you, you just had no shot. Right. It would be. And, like, and let's give some props to Yona Koski. Yona Koski, what did he Out get? Of second, nowhere. second and then first? Yes. Has that been <sighs> done before? Uh, I don't Colton, remember, Colton like, in the open. Colton did it. In and consecutive then, workouts? Not consecutive, but it was first and third this year. Well, that's not first and second, Brian. That's a whole place. Yeah, but Yona no, wasn't. The first event first and, the second, and the third event, he got first. And then he got second. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. The first and the third event. Yes. First yes, and yes, third yes. event, yeah. Yes, but props to Yona Kosi. Uh, kind of destroyed the Open. Like, nobody, I know, uh, nobody was particularly close. Like, he and, beat the goat too. He beat Dallin. Dallin is a killer at the open. He, we can't just label anybody the goat, bro. Yeah, like, I don't like, ask. Dallin's Dallin's never even goat. never won the open. <laughs> what, 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 what is this? And then and, Gracie uh, Walton. Yeah. We'll get to that here in a second, but Mirjam okay. Von Rohr got first and second as well. I don't care about that high rocks person. Gracie well, Walton <laughs> is a destroyer. <laughs> Okay, and like I know, I know. Uh, after we're gonna wait till after quarterfinals, and I know we're gonna get on to some other stuff. I apologize, Brian, but after quarterfinals, there will be major changes to Games Mountain and Rookie Hill. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, Gracie Walton, better watch out, Austin, because she's Good making thing. a charge to the top of Rookie Hill right now. We'll have to see how quarterfinals pans out especially yeah we'll, we'll get to that in the 24.3 recap but i was very impressed I'm sorry, I'm I'm, yeah we'll go I'm, yeah i'm done <laughs> this is I'm done. not the I'm john done. young show i'm sorry uh, yes yes just taking it over uh, um don't exile me please I we, did that, we did that last week and i think people panicked and had a little bit of a, a 
little anxiety attack. <laughs> um, the comments were hilarious watching it back as people would watch and they'd say, what did he do? Where is he? I'm not watching if John's not doing this. And then I didn't, and I had to reassure that, people. Guys. Like, it made me feel, it made me feel really good. If nobody said anything, I would have felt really bad. Well, that's why I kicked you out, John. I knew that was going to happen. And I know you had been having a down week. So, you know, we kick you out. We go deep into it. To, to build, to build me out. back up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so on the agenda today, we got, uh, we'll go through some viewer comments here in a second. Uh, walk through the 24.3, everything that's going on with that. Kind of wrap up the open. Uh, we'll move blind rankings up a little bit. So they're back after last week. I'm taking a little break for the keep five, drop five, um, or cut five. And then uh, we'll talk about some open drama. Some of the storylines we're going on that, and we'll finish with some new betting with the boys. Um, before we get into that, we got some uh, breaking news for the show. There is now a live call in number. So Woo! if you want to chime in, there it is right there at the bottom, scrolling down there. Live call in number, call in, give your two cents, and then. Uh, will react so can i save that number if you want okay i don't, I don't think it'll change unless uh somebody keeps spamming me if y'all want <laughs> yeah, this smoke go it ahead very... and call it. so john will take you down so better have something to say though don't just call call and waste time with the show. <laughs> that's what they do on nope. Stefan's show so <laughs> we're not Stefan's show well listen we <laughs> Listen, this is superficial TMZ CrossFit material right here. Right. Okay, That's we're not right. Sevon's 89th parallel bag of weed show. Okay? That was the best <laughs> show. <laughs> Darn uh, out. Or, or with after you. joining and being just railroaded by a caller that couldn't drop it. Um, oh, yeah. But he dropped a lot of money, so that's fair. That's I would true. I would have a guy on the phone for half an hour if. He dropped several hundred dollars. So <laughs> feel free to do that. Um, all right. Uh, viewer comments. So we're going to make John feel good about himself. Keep that going. Uh, at Craig uh, Pasley. Craig, I stand with John. He's an important analyst in CrossFit. So we love you, John. Uh, you. At Augustus Link, I was about to boycott until John Young came back. So. That's funny because he's that guy's been bad mouth in my 24.3 video this whole time so uh i appreciate you augustus uh i love and hate yeah, leave me alone I guess. <laughs> so. uh at ian marcine ian a marcine i think uh 100 go for rx if you can do the initial movement after trying dubs for 10 years i finally got some in 24 point oh, yeah Nice. So that's See? why you do it. That's why you do RX. Because I guarantee Ian could probably do single unders all day. But the double unders, but under pressure, got him. So congratulations. Uh and one more for our Oceana. Or is it Oceania? Is that what how Chase says it? Oceania? Chase says it Oce Oceania. <laughs> like, Oceania. Like he makes it like a six syllable word. <laughs> maybe, maybe go with the program. It doesn't have so many Australian uh, listeners, but uh, that's, Oshan, that's Oceana. Fair. Yeah. Uh, at Kathy Stan, I guarantee that nobody in Oceana gives a rat's arse about Seth Rollins and Jocko. It was definitely a big miss. You would think, you would think wrestling would be big in Australia. It does feel like a wrestling. You look at their American gladiators. That's best wrestling. Right there, yeah, or American gladiators, Australian gladiators. I can't believe I just said American gladiators American. for, for well, Australia, you know, <laughs> whatever they're called. They uh, feel like you know, the WWE feels like it has a bunch of fans in Texas, and Australia feels like Texas, uh, with, its own with country a <laughs> with a twang with spiders. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so those are the the comments uh, for this week. Uh, draw your dagger. What's the least amount I can pay to be on the phone? So call-ins are free, but depends on how long you want to stay on is the the bigger question. Uh, That'd be wrestling. Cool if you could... Wrestling is big in Australia. 
just did a pay-per-view thing. I don't know. Uh, do you agree with Barry here? Jocko was pre-recorded. I mean, that's a fact. Mm. What do you mean? Or do I agree <laughs> with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's I, that, John? I said the event was pre-released. So it's just everything was going before. Every, everybody knew what was going on. Uh, yeah, going to the 24.3 recap. Uh, first, I guess, how did you guys do on it? Tyler? My, it's my best one. Um, I I got one muscle up in the last round. Um, and looking back at my video, I just didn't want to finish. Like, <laughs> I, I was trying to find reasons not to finish that workout. And it makes me mad, but it's fine. I knew I was going to do pretty well at that workout. Thrusters and anything gymnastics is going to be decent for me. Um, so I, I was happy to do it. This is the best workout by far. I've been told that I came out a little hot, but what was your time on the first five, four fifty two? That's that's moving pretty hot. Uh, (laughs) did you, did you think about redoing it? No, 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 I knew I was going to make 75th percentile or whatever. So John, My my first attempt, I was two muscle ups from finishing. Um, I did not want to redo it. I had every thought in my head that it was only, I was only going to do it once, but it left a really bad taste in my mouth that it was I was just two reps from finishing. So so I redid it. Came out a little. I think I was way too conservative in the beginning. Came out a little bit hotter. Just just shortened the range of motion. A lot of my thrusters. That's what made the big the big difference there. Uh, it was a joke, but uh, the it came out hotter in the first part, and then um, I finished I, with uh, six seconds left. I had fourteen fifty four. So nice, nice. Um, Again, it was, it was my best event too. Hey John, I think <laughs> you are, uh, your internet is really slow. Yeah, I think, try to, I think you're starting to lag. Do you want me to come back to come out and come back? Yeah, come on out and come back. Um, I was 24.3. It did not go well for me. Uh, surprisingly, what when, happened? Your, when your knee is not doing so well and you avoid doing a whole lot of squatting and you just haven't done a whole lot of chest to bar pull ups, surprisingly, you're not very good at it when it gets to it. So I got, 100, <laughs> I got 105 reps. Um, not very happy with it. Um, enough to make it into old, old man masters quarterfinals. So I'm cool with that. I yeah, have no yeah. interest in trying to redo it. Um, just, yeah, it was, uh, I'll take point one and point two all day long. I figured you might say, uh, uh, oh, we got a John, call in. We got a caller. Go. We have a caller caller. Hello. Let's test this thing out. It works. There it is. Travis, Travis. from Vindicate. small team right here. What's small up guys? Team. Small team. What's going I'm on? so I'm he- I'm hearing my back. Don't do that. Like in my headphones. Uh, let's see. And I have I have the show pause. Oh, so you didn't pull the radio. You, you're not doing the radio thing. So that's good. Correct. But it's it's really really like delayed by two seconds. That's weird. Whoop. Now I don't hear it. Can now you hear me now? Is that better? Yep. Yeah, I don't hear it now. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. So what's going on? To bring this up because I so you had posted um, the Brooke Wells deal about uh, not being able to continue, and I've mentioned this on a few. Times. I wanted to get your guys' take because I haven't gotten any response other than a few minutes, and I actually commented on Dave's video about it too. Should there be an elite division for the Open yeah, no. to make? Like when you register for the open, there's your regular division and there's an elite division for the the people that are trying to go to the games because open does not matter for these elites. If they walk in the park, it's nothing. Should there be more of a competition for the open for them? To, because you're moving all in a competition, but you don't even have to half-ass it. 
Spin, well, you go first. I don't know what. I mean, we're just adding a second virtual. Like, what what would it be different about doing a a, a competitive division? Like, would the workouts be if different? You, if you register, no, no, it would be the same workouts, but you're actually competing against competitive people to move on. So there would be ends of that division that would get to move on, basically. You're actually having to compete to get your spot versus we're going to take 25% or whatever it is of all the ball. And you can just easily way in there and not even do half the workout I mean, it just uh, seems like they have very little effort in to move on Tyler? so because the answer for them is quarterfinals that is their their new open uh, but you're the question I think you're really trying to answer is what's the open for now right like if you yeah. have these pros in and you have the normal people in, but it doesn't matter for the pros, then what's the open for? Especially for them, because it's just a bad look if they're like, I didn't really care and I didn't really try. Which most of them are that way. Yeah, it was it was the top 10 <laughs> they try, that really tried. But they're not competing to get in. Yeah, exactly. Like like Colton's in there busting his ass and, win, and getting first and second. And he qualifies, but he could have just half-assed it and all gone. Uh, I had I had somebody say that it was too. It would put too much strain on them. It would be too hard because they're peaking for the like. These are the most elite people in the world, and they can't do three workouts over a three period that is somewhat of a competition. I mean, I, I think when you talk, think about, I think Jason said it on Taylor versus the world, like he used it as a test of how fast, like how hard could he burn it down in a competition um, by going alongside Taylor? Uh, like, mm -hmm. I think if he had done 24.2 at crash by himself, he may have gotten the same score, but he wouldn't have gotten the same amount out of it. So I think these guys use it as kind of a test of, trying or trying different things or pushing their to the limit to some degree. And some of them may burn out like Ariel went out too hot in 24.3. I, I, I just don't know. Like, well, I think there's a, if you're going to say like make them pay 50 bucks to go do the open, to be able to advance to quarterfinals. I don't know what that really gets us. So say say you're right, Travis. We take we take we give them pro cards. You all all have competed in some capacity. You don't have to qualify for a quarter or yeah quarterfinals. You just get auto auto selected into quarterfinals. What do you think about the open now? It has no it has no elite athletes in it besides the one who are who are just going to do it because they love the open. What does that look like? Does that mm -hmm. look better or worse than them not trying? I don't know. I haven't figured out really what the open is doing anymore. <laughs> oh, I asked. I asked the group. I think, I, I've asked the guy. You can ask these guys right here. I've asked the group at least four times this year. What is the open for? No one can give me an answer. So I no, think, it, and it with with the way it's going now, with, and it, it's been said many times that with allowing so and so, you know, this this percentage of people to move on, it's it's money. Because now I'm going to pay to get to the next round or to compete in the next round. That's the only move. I think. I think. I think if you have a separate division with the elites, then it defeats the community a little bit. Like the open is supposed to be about the community. I know everybody gets through the workouts now, and it's super accessible. But there's something about you doing the same workout that Jeffrey Adler is doing, or you're doing the same workout that Tia is doing. For instance, um, you know, Tyler beat Tia Toomey and Brooke Wells in 24.3. <laughs> he will forever have that in his cap. Uh, but <laughs> I, I know for the elites, for the elites, and I mean, quite frankly, not even like 
I would say people at my level, like the open is kind of dumb. Like you just get through it to get through it. There are people that are not even close to fitness that will be better than you in the open. But then once you get to the real deal, they can't do half of the workouts. But I think we just have to accept yeah. that and be okay with it. And then it's more about the community. And if you have an elite division, it takes away from the community. And, and I don't, I don't like that at all. I would rather just accept that the open is going to be super soft now. And then quarterfinals, hopefully it's not. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Like, I think there is something to it to be doing the same workout that Colton does um, or being in, the same, you... being in the same division, right? Like even if he's just going through it, if anybody's going through it, like it's, it's just kind like of when part it takes of the somebody. Game. It takes somebody 14 minutes to do the first workout and they're really proud of themselves that they finished under the time cap. It was really hard and they were breathing heavy the whole time and they finished under the time cap. And then you see Colton does it in 519. Like, it's not that Colton beat you by so much, but it's almost like a respect thing. Like, how the freak does that guy do that? He is <laughs> amazing, right? It, like, puts it into perspective a little bit. I don't think people understand how awesome some of these athletes are, and it puts it into perspective when you're really proud of yourself, and then you see them do something – like that and you don't get that if you change it yeah. well no i agree you would it's cool to see that competition and and having the elites have a division it would still be those same workouts you're just it's a matter of someone like tia not to bad mouth them someone like tia or someone like someone like brooke who don't even say get to the muscle ups and yet they're still moving on. Well, I don't want the, if you do that, I don't want these three workouts for the elite to be the deciding factor of who moves on to the next level. Right. Like they're but not, again, that's they're why the not honest super on. Yeah. Right. That it, it's, and, and I see the open now as more of a community event to draw and bring your CrossFit gym together. And for us to kind of all start around the sure. circle of the season sure. and rally behind that versus a, an actual competition stage. Like I thought the workouts were good for the community. I thought they were good for everybody that's doing them and the, the elites that want to, they could test it out and they can go hard. If they don't want to fine, they have a month. Until so again, months. the open doesn't, the open and Kotler just said it. Ultimately, the open should have nothing to do with the season for elites. Correct. It doesn't matter. You're moving on to the to the next stage with barely any work in. Yeah. Uh, if we can move on, yeah. we, we spent a lot of time. Thank you. And thank it you doesn't for, like uh, what Justin it, what Justin's saying out. here. Yeah. Thank you, Travis, for the call. I pre yeah, uh, thank you. First Thanks, caller ever on the we'll barbell spin. Down. Love thank you. you for the shirts. There you go. Later. These would be too complicated. They have a small team. Anyway, what Collar is saying here, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, for the five people that get money at the end, it does. But everybody else, it's just here. But, but Justin, maybe all the analysts should stop saying the Open doesn't matter. Us not Justin's saying not an it doesn't He's make it true. Yeah, well. <laughs> He's also He's an coach. analyst. He's not an analyst. A, he different. frequents shows. That's I don't count talking to his fitness as an analyst. Oh, no. John, you're so far behind. <laughs> yeah, you're falling behind again. Oh, my gosh. I, I'll, I'll <laughs> hear. All right. Well, uh, here, keep talking about 24.3. Talk about hey, Rebecca Fusilay's yeah. thrusters, and I'm going to go um, into your settings real off. quick. Go into your settings and make sure that you don't have the like smoothing on to make yourself look a little prettier. Grundler did that <laughs> once and had to fix it. <laughs> Is that why he goes black all the time? Yeah. His internet oh, would like okay. cut what out because it, you're the process. It called? It's so much data smoothing uh, or something like that. Get on the settings and in the camera, it says touch up my appearance on the, on the camera tab. 
I don't have that. Okay. On. Maybe just reboot then. Cause you were. Okay. Bye John. <laughs> right. I'll be back. You're rebooted. You'll be back eventually. Uh, hopefully. Um, all right. We'll take a look at the leaderboard while John is working to fix that. Um, Rebecca Fusile, Fusile, uh, 753 or 752. Uh, Mirjam Von Rohr, a first and a second. Like that, those are two very different tests to be good at. Especially with though? the heavy. I mean, I don't know how much is Miss Von Rohr weigh. Is she Dutch? She's 22. She's 22, Switzerland. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to say she's on the shorter end. Yeah, I, I just don't know that that is that heavy for for the women. And maybe it won't slow them down as much as 135 does for the men. I, I say that like 135 is heavy. It's not that heavy, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. The, Lori Winkleman, uh, she is built like a Colton. Okay. Which, they both got first and second in the same workouts. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if she can continue that on in quarterfinals when it, it gets to be more uh, crossfitty. But uh, Annika Greer, third. Cara Saunders, Danielle Brandon. Dude, Cara blows like blows my mind. Like yeah. I guess she's sort of built for the open, and and like she's always sort of been good at the open, but like she's getting along there and she's had two kids now yeah like and she admits that she's nuts. not like work, she's not working out crazy like whatever hour a day hour and a half a day that's it um she's so. the last left like to me because she fits in that class of like i know she's younger athlete than um oh what's his face from finland uh Oh, Miko? you know what I'm talking about Miko, yeah. But she's she's like the last of that that breed left. Yeah, that class. Anyway, uh, Laura Horvath, uh, good seventh Very place. Decent. Julia Hannaford, which you had her on the show on yep. what, Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah, um, she's one to watch for uh, coming out of Oceania. Dude, Oceania just looks stouter and stouter at all times now. Yeah, we'll, Is stouter we'll a word. It is now. It is now. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that in the bet with the boys. I got a, I got a little Oceania bet uh, Oceania. for you guys to consider. Uh, Maddie Sturt. Um, I mean, it's it's a lot of names that you would have kind of expected. I think this is the, kind of the first, I guess, maybe uh, prequel to the quarterfinals. Like This was the first one where you could say, I think, who did well on this has a better chance of doing well in quarterfinals. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then on the men's side, Yona. 803. Did Yona's like, Scott Tetlow, the twins. Oh, whoops. Uh, Luca Vunjak. Austin Hatfield. Yeah, not surprising. Overall. All of them on video. You know he's legit. How about Noah Olson? Going team. Fifth. Does not, says it does not matter. He goes and does the workout immediately after the announcement, and then he goes and takes fifth. Earns some, earns some cash, potentially. Mm -hmm. I... I mean, like, I love it for him. I mean, why wouldn't you? He has the fitness. I mean, for him, it's in reserves at this point. The Open is has always been great for him. So, yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Um, even if he were like, he always, you can always, you can tell he always puts effort in. It doesn't matter, like, if he really wants to try or not. He's still going to try really hard. Right. Uh, I don't think he's ever going to be somebody who coasts. <laughs> no. Uh, and I think these workouts kind of suited him as well. Um, yeah. Victor Hoffer, 21st, and then Pete uh, John Young's Peter Ellis, it's Pete. 286th, 
It's so, not bad. It was all from workout two, which if if he's going to get 851 reps, I'm going to say his reps were probably cleaner than some of the people above him. <laughs> Just going out on a limb. Not going to name names, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would say out of the six fifteen hundred and ninety nine people above him, there's a high probability that some deadlifts were not stood up and people got off the rower a second or two early. Yeah. Um, John, would you agree that the twenty four point three was probably the best indicator of quarterfinals out of these three? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I I think it's the only one. <laughs> there's only three, but yes. Uh, <laughs> We were talking about Mirjam Van Roor, who got a first and a second in the in the open. Do you think she has any chance? No. In quarterfinals. None. She's one of those flash in the pan. Does well in the open, that's it. Open athletes. Yep. yep. Uh Jay Crouch. Redid Third it. Bottom. Third. Third overall. I I, I personally think that the open, you can make statements in the open, but other than that, it means it means nothing for any of the elite people. And maybe Mirham Von Roar is a thing coming. The open still doesn't mean anything. Um, there are three workouts when only one workout is has any type of inspiration at all. Right. I think um, Angelo DeChico said this in one of Rich's podcasts. Like, Sam beat him by five seconds in the first one, and he beat Sam by 10 seconds or by 10 reps or 10 seconds, 10 seconds in the third one. Yeah. And the five seconds in that first workout was 200 spots. <laughs> and the 10 seconds was like 20 spots in the third one. And that's because there's no separation. And when there's no separation, everybody can just go as hard as they can. <laughs> you can make statements. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. That's a good bet. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> Here, I, I'll tell you this: I'm willing to bet I could beat Van Roar at more workouts than she beats me at quarterfinals. But the one she beats me will be significant. She goes smoke them. There will be a yeah. there will be a significant gap in the ones that she beats me. Is that fair to say? I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, so if we you're talking about scoring it, if we, we had to score it one to one, we're we're not gonna score it like Z score. Yeah. We gotta score it like we no, gotta just just score wins. Who wins the just, most workouts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess probably five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'd be. I'd be uh, inclined to put that in the app. <laughs> Listen, it'd be closer than y'all think. I'm telling you. Like, well, I was we I was talking to somebody about quarterfinals today because they were asking, like, how is this going to work with you know? Again, people. I think she, I think she said two women in her gym made it to quarterfinals and can like. I can't remember what what lift it was, but it was like 130 pounds, like clean 130 or snatch or 130, and they couldn't even do that. And I think there's going to be a gated workout, a ladder workout, a one rep max, some type of skill base, and then some engine base, right? Like kind of all five. And so like, and I just need three of them. And, and so the gated, the gated again, always has a lot of metabolic in there, right? Like whether it's a lot of toes to bar before you can get to the heavy bar, um, the latter will have the sim same type of thing. The one rep max, John's got that one, I think. Um, engine, John loses. Skills, depends on what they are, but I think she probably will lose that. So probably, probably. John needs to win those first three that I listed off, and then he can give up those other two. There will usually, there's like a power output sprint one, like row 30 cows, 20 burby box jump overs, 10 snatches. Um, with 185 and like well, that's, that's where they're like you'll see what the kind of workout they do because if they do 185 how many of the top 25 percent could do something like that five right and that's the question of how many like what they do and that, and that brings me up to uh kefir's 
comment. Tyler, you were on there. You're on uh, around the whiteboard this afternoon. Did your much better this time. Your performance was okay. Uh, I lost it in the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, if that's what you want to say. Um, nobody had a good answer at the at the end about. Yeah, it was uh, so it was, it was difficult. That, that was, was that was bad. But, I didn't get to see uh, Pete, uh, the. Hold, hold on, my smell. dog's going crazy. I gotta let him out. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's a good uh, thing we don't pay John for this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go back, watch around the whiteboard. Uh, Tyler Kiefer from Underdogs, and who was the third? I'm drawing a blank. Uh, what's his fit? Haley's coach. Um, oh yeah, uh, Marillo. Yeah, Marillo. Josh. Mario. 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 Uh, Jonathan Ortega. Could not close it. I I felt like my first two answers were good, and I had this whole bit prepped. But Peter changed the question on me, and it made the bit weird, and it wasn't going to hit the same, and so I just abandoned the bit. Is that the and first question? No, it was the last one. Oh, the you last didn't one. think my first question answer was good? I thought no. it was good. No, that was – I thought you lost it right there. <laughs> I anyway, it was the last one, the last one. Well, it sort of was a non-answer. <laughs> yeah. It's really we clicking. got the y'all hear that noise? The, uh, the yeah. aliens from Signs are in the. <laughs> I hear it too. I wonder if there. you get feedback. There it goes. There we go. What was it the last was... question? The last question was about um, the Emily Claw, Claw yeah. and and Tudor Magda situation that we. We're able to break last last week about um that tutor game penalized for having a, a video and then Emily Claw not having a video but retaining first place. Okay. And so Tyler was he just kind of fumbled around for a minute and yeah. had a chance. Had a chance. <laughs> Kiefer was just it's fine and uh didn't get there. Well, I think Emily Claw skipped around without knowing it. And I think uh I think I just wish one time Tudor would do something in live competition that he can do online. That's all I'm gonna say. One time. Other than handstand walk and freaking lift. I wish he was as fit as he was online. There's a lot starting of starting to be a pattern. That's all I'm doing anymore is handstand walks and lifts. Uh <laughs> Yeah, the tapping sound, it was the Bluetooth. So I had to turn the audio Alien. down. And then whenever somebody calls in, we'll we'll pick it back up. Uh I guess I mean anything on this leaderboard that's worth talking about. I mean, again, like it is the open. They just have to get through. Um I'm with I do you want to say Austin that. Hatfield has two top tens? Just saying. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Just, Sounds like it doesn't mean anything unless it proves something I wanted to prove, and then it means no, no, everything. No, no, it still doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it still doesn't mean anything, but it is like a checklist, kind of like the NFL Combine. Like you know, there's a guy you think is really fast, and then he runs a four three. Check. It just it's just checking what you already thought. Uh, I'm I'm happy to see that he got ninth in twenty four point three. Like again, that if I'm going to look at anything and say. That shows you have some potential in quarterfinals and possibly semifinals. It's that one. Yeah. Like if you can do burpees over a dumbbell fast, that's fine. But that's not going to translate out, in my opinion, to any of the future. Um, and then, of course, we got to give John another chance. First place, unofficially right now, Grace Walton. Uh, it sounds like what Kiefer said that they've asked the top 10 athletes for their videos to validate. Grace, Grace Walton's a bad girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she coming. moves clean too, which is she crazy. She is coming. And she, she's a good swimmer. Days. I just think she's got home run <laughs> hits. Like if you can't get her at swim the in games, Texas. Yeah, you, they have swimming pools. We're fine, okay. Just put them in the Rio Grande, Grande, the Rio Grande River. That'd be cool. Zane knows. 
bad, Zane. bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that comes off a little bit different when you say it, Zane. I'm sorry. It just I just feel like it means a little bit of a different thing. But you know, you go get it. Uh Glee, any major standout positive or concerns on the leaderboard? It's hard to say concerns when you have Tia and Brooke just kind of put it in. I mean, it's like nothing means anything as far as that goes. Like positive is just like, okay. You know, Gracie did probably better than any of us expected. Would you have said she still doesn't got mean first? a lot? Still does not mean a lot, but it is a big check on the checklist. Is all I'm I, to me, it means I think winning still means something. I don't, <laughs> but go ahead. The people I, who were nice going to try tried. Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think but it came down workouts. You, there were definitely, if you were in the top 10, you definitely were trying pretty hard that last workout. Like Dallin redid it. Ariel redid it. I think Annika redid it to make sure that her reps were clean. Uh, like Colton redid it, even though he had probably a top five score. He was just hoping to kind of get lucky after getting screwed in the second workout. Ariel's um, doing all three of them again this, this evening. This, the top three women in the entire world have never made the games. One is a high rocks athlete. The other, I think, is going to be something. And then three is always is Tyler Christoffel in the girl version. <laughs> right? Always Ariel. just a little bit short. She, she quits before oh, she commits her score. Monica. No, I thought you were yeah. talking about Ariel. I was like, never, ever. No, 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 Tyler. no. But I'm just saying, top three in the whole wide world have never made the games. Yeah. Right? That show that that's, it's not, it doesn't matter. But we've always known that Annika has the capacity. Not to be a top, a top games athlete. I never said top games athlete. I was just talking about making it to the games and having a decent showing. Okay. If Tyler Christopher won the open, would you think he's going to be great? <laughs> Never. Not no, enough. you wouldn't. It would mean nothing to you. It would. You would say no. Because there's nothing. He's still going to we'll get give the up semifinals, at the lunch. That's what he'll find say. some way to quit. He'll he'll quit his last lunge on the semifinals. I never thought he quit, Tyler. I think he got blown up. He's he's too. He's you're better than Jake Berman. That's all I know, what it, Tyler. What does Rich I don't say? Know if ever I bet games, Rich agrees with me. <laughs> but you're better than Jake Berman. Um. <laughs> training thing tank freaking freaking julia blazowska is seventh place in the world and listen yeah, julia dude. blazowska might know, be julia. an amazing woman i'm sorry julia you can't compare to top tier games people so she's she's been to semifinals the last three years i would dang hope so she's seventh in the freaking world brian in 22 she, she, was? Was, she was 40th in the open two years ago and she finished 20th in the strength and depth out of 30. Seventh in the world. You're going to tell me it matters? It matters. <laughs> <laughs> That's the response to that. <laughs> there you go. It matters. It matters to a degree. I mean, it doesn't matter as much as quarterfinals. It doesn't matter. But it shows me that you're something. It's not a statement that you're nothing. Definitely more it's, than that. Yeah, That's but true. over the That's over true. the years, though, it's the open. We want to say that the open translates into your performance, right? Like, you I've never said that. Fra Frazier, you want to say that? Frazier, no, I think Dave said that in the past, right? Like, he's like, well, Dave's see, you look at the open. Frazier wins it. I think, um, you know, yeah, Adler won it. Like, you see the guys at the top; they make it to the games. It's more of they're just that good, like. Look at yes. it the opposite way, right? Like they're so good because they 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 can win the games, but they can also do well in the open. It's not because you were well do well at the open that you can win the games or do well at the games. Like right, it, it's it's so different that there are going to be anomalies. There's going to be those kind of niche athletes that can kind of slide in there and do well, and then eventually get phased out. But I I tend to lean like, how much can we use this to? guess about quarterfinals semifinals it's like almost None. zero i think besides gracie 
uh, probably almost zero. Like, like it's impressive. Yonikowski is impressive, but it, like, yeah, it, it won't, it will not influence how I feel about him at the games at all. Like Austin Hatfield, it's a checklist. You know, William Leahy, you see where he's at. Like, it's a checklist. Like, mm -hmm. there's people where you're like, oh, okay, like they're as good as I thought they were, right? But like, it still doesn't make them higher at all. It's just if they placed really, really low, you put it's a thought, it's a seed, it's a seed in your head that that could grow. You know what I mean? Quarterfinals, they barely make it into semifinals. So then I'm probably not picking them as high as I thought. Right. But quarterfinals, if like they're like top 10 and they were top 10 in the open, that seed just keeps on growing. Right. But the open is the least amount of water on that seed. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I think I missed, you... phone, I, missed, I missed a phone call earlier. So if you called from a 707, feel free to call back and I'll pick it up this time. Pool boy, elaborate because I, I don't know what you mean. I think he's talking about quarterfinals. Right. What does the programming look like in that? regard so oh so he thinks it's gonna be watered down because we allowed some of these people in yeah well maybe. it can't be uh and it, it needs to not be that's for sure um yeah i think that's the open um all right here we go ready for some blind rankings let's I'm do ready. it all right oh no i'll be right back no, you don't, his, you don't need to come back. Let's go get it. his blindfold. All right. Where's he going? He's getting his blindfold. So, he, so he's extra double blind. There yeah. he is. There he is. His oh, manta, you. manta sleep mask. You gotta go get. We can't uh, go get, get our man pad. Yeah, you'll get a uh, discount code in two weeks. So. I have been using this, and I enjoy it. Uh, all right, Blind Rankings, it's back. This week, your 2024 Open Favorites. So these are specific items from this year's Open, and you're going to rank how much you enjoyed these. Okay, before you start, John... What's the best thing about this open? We have to agree on first. Spin's going to screw us somehow. The last <laughs> workout. Okay. Unless it's movement right. by movement, then it's a little different, right? Muscle ups. <laughs> we'll see what you guys uh what you guys think. Here we go. All Keep right. The 24.3 leak. <laughs> how much Ooh, did you I'm, enjoy? I'm a big fan of this because it's kind of like us breaking it. You know, we we are involved in this, right? I know it's not we didn't leak it, Hell. but like the people know because of us, right? We Nick texted it to me. It's not like I had some kind of super in on it. it you know, Wad Zombie was like, "Hey, have you seen this?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I'm the one who leaked it, man. I got the inside." <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know what I mean? I, back around. I, I'm not against this. I, I'll say three. I know it broke Dave's heart, and for that, I'm sorry, Dave, that it broke your heart. But I'm gonna say three because it was fun for us. Lee, yeah, I'll go. I I wanted to say three. I agree. It was it was fun. What to to me the funnest thing about it, the most fun thing about it, was people saying, "I can't." The the media needs to stop sharing this. Yeah, <laughs> what? dude, it's out there, man. We're TMZ. Okay. TMZ. Yeah. yeah, we are TMZ. Uh, we are the TMZ style uh, CrossFit. I, somebody in the comments. Oh, it's my mom. It's my mom. Hello, mom. Um, Taylor versus the world. That's probably the best thing in the open. I agree with you. Oh, that. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Young. Um, so I was at the Nashville. I was in CrossFit Proven for the, for the open announcement. And they let us in. I got in 15 minutes before the rest of the group. So I actually had a front row. Uh, but they let everybody in in the general admission 45 minutes before the start of the show. And they literally just sat there. We all just stood around with no music, nothing going on, not even on the no, TV. Not even or, a little music. God. No, we were just staring at each other and, you know, chatting. The and community. 
I, all of a sudden I look at my phone and, and I see it in our group that I saw the screenshot. I opened my Instagram and I have, I don't know how many messages from others. <laughs> I've been watching the live stream where it popped up. Faithful patrons. And so I, I do the post, you know, standing right there and I'm looking around and this woman next to me, all of a sudden she sees uh, Hiller's story and I see her sharing it. And uh, somebody had like messaged, like, are, are people like talking about it? And I, I could tell that they really weren't. But then all of a sudden, like you'd start seeing people look down at their you know, phone and talk, like look, and so it was slowly getting around around the the area. Um, no, probably about the same time that Dave. Dave, you know, that thirty minutes prior, uh, it started to cir circle around. Um, so, yep. Uh, all right, twenty four point three leak. Next one, Castro's hints. Did you like the mushroom? The chicken leg. No, the chest I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm anti hint. I know a lot of people have a lot of fun with it, but they never make any sense. And and I get its talk and it hypes it up, but like, I just think it's stupid. Like, like Tyler, you can go ahead and have your piece, but for me, it, for me, this one's five. I'm gonna go one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Just kidding. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. He's getting ready to fight. I like uh, Bro, four, come on now. four or five on this, honestly. I, I usually like Castro's hints, but this year they just didn't pop off the same bit. And I, I don't know. And maybe it's because I, I was less, in, less invested in the I in thought the, the hints were actually more talked about than prior years. Listeners, what do we think? Four or five? There's a lot of fives. I think we hear a, a lot, lot of fives. fives. Okay. All right, All right, five. All right, next I like, one. I like what we got going Emily on right Claw, now. We got a lot of... Emily Claus, no video. <laughs> uh, four? How I mean, it should it? be five, right? <laughs> well, do you go with Chase's take that this is like one of the most important precedents that's ever been set? Yes, because what's stopping me from just saying I was seven thirty in the last workout? I just don't have a video. That was that was my question. Remember that. What if John posted a seven thirty and said I don't have a video? I won the. But open I workout. did it, and this judge said I did it. Yeah. What is your What does your athlete bio look like? Do you think they put like unofficial open winner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. I think it's I think it's official. I mean, she is the official. No, I think it's official. Twenty four point two winner. I think it has to be four because it should be five. It's just it's it's a bad bad deal. It just of all like because they get say on all of this stuff, right? And they make they make some wild calls and just be like, "Yeah, we're CrossFit. We can say what we want." And if this one to not pull that trigger seems so strange. Or I guess yeah, they pulled the trigger. We just didn't, <laughs> didn't get the answer the we wanted. She redid it and only got nine rounds, right? Instead of 10, right. like a whole round short. Like just use that as her score. Be like, well, this is the video that you have. Yeah, That's going to be your score. Your reps. It means nothing, right? Like, I don't know why you don't just do that. I would say four on this. So my opinion, Tyler, and this is where I thought you lost it and around the whiteboard. There's a clause in the rule book that says that they can make adjustments to maintain the integrity of the sport of the competition. If you're just going to let anybody post it and then have no video backup, like, like Tudor, if you're going to trust the affiliates, you should trust that they, they saw his hips opening up, but standing at the top of the rep. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you know, like the talk around some of the TTT camp was like a couple of years ago. It's like, don't even worry about having a judge because they get to do the rule the way they want to. And now we're going to say, well, you know, but if you're wanting to incentivize the community that they have pull over the open, you cannot trample on that. So Th this. To me, if you want to be in the top 100 or something like that, like videos are required. Yeah, 100 percent. Like if you're in the community, fine. You don't need to do it. But if you, if you don't want have to, one, you have 24 hours to redo it. Right. Like you got to publish it. Uh, asymmetric ears. Pick a random video on the leaderboard. Chances are the movement will not meet standard. 
I have more faith in the community than that. Do you? Yeah. At least from the at least in the elite level, I think I might agree with. Good luck. Good luck finding videos. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, the next one, you guys are betting on one and two. I know you, you've given us crappy stuff, man. Well, maybe it gets better. Maybe it gets better. Come on, John, get it together. More, the more out. pep. Damn it. I told you he was going to screw us. And here we go. He's <laughs> Brian. I mean, okay. Two. <laughs> like, like, I'm not going to put that in one. I mean, I have to agree. Brian, you know, I'm 20... mad at you right now. If this isn't Taylor versus the world, then, <laughs> then you're a dick, bro. Because, like, this has to make sense. You can't just give us five crappy things and say, Put them as your favorites. Like <laughs> Re nah, rewind on, five man. minutes ago. All right, five what? minutes ago, John was like, "I like where we're at right now." <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's so true. Tyler. Outside of Taylor versus the world, what is something you really liked about this? That means it wasn't Taylor versus the world. <laughs> <laughs> that means he doesn't have it. Uh, um. I don't know. They better be pissed <laughs> off right now. I don't. I don't even. Uh, Is there anything that you like more than Castro's hints from this year's Open? Taylor staring down the camera. Iron Hog being a a moniker that's a thing now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty much anything with Taylor. I feel like Taylor. The dog. I feel like Taylor is the biggest winner of this Open, bar none. Off of the him dog trampling everything. Seth Rollins' robe. What about the announcements, Seth Rollins? All that no. better than Dave Castro's hints? Nope, that would be That's the worst thing that would come up right now. If it's Seth Rollins' announcement, then I might leave the show. Uh, like that. That's how mad I'm going to be. On this, on, this, on this lineup, though, I would not say Seth Rollins. I would say Seth Rollins is number one, for real. Based on this list? Honestly, based on, on this, this list, list. If it's Seth Rollins, I think the leak is the number one thing. Let's see it. All right, here we go. Taylor versus the world. Thank Lowe. God. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, he he typed that as we were talking. He, he, that was not what it was. And he backspace, 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 and typed that while oh we were talking. Oh. All right, it's not bad. I'm not mad at the list. Four bad things I would... and one great thing. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think this is the best this list could be. Yeah, I'm That's not mad at it. I'm not mad at it, especially from a two. Blind I think guys. I would put the claw no videos at three and switch that with the leak, and then we're good. No, nah, the claw is no video. I love how we call her the claw. The claw. Like it's, 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 it's Toy Story. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> like I feel like that's five, man. That's a terrible, terrible thing that CrossFit's done. Yeah, but it it caused some fun. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> I think. I think from my perspective, claws. <laughs> no, you claw. have to say. You have to say the, the claw, claws. bro. <laughs> the claw. The, the issue with the claw no video is I think it forces CrossFit to think about what like how this all works and like what how do they again go back to maintain the integrity of what they're trying to do and for all that is about community and what the open is for the 300,000 people that did this you still have prize money on the line for the top five overall and the winner each week I think you still need to do something to maintain that. And I, I go back to what like Kiefer said, like they've asked for videos of the top 10 athletes that finish in the open. In my opinion, that's not enough. If you really want to find the top person, because like if somebody finished, you know, 30th in a workout, what happens to number 11 through 29 in that workout? doesn't but, matter. <laughs> And so it, it goes back to what Tudor, what happened to Tudor, and that is Tudor showed a video and then he ends up losing 20% of his reps, justifiably so, so. But there's a lot of people that now he's behind that also probably had reps that were probably pretty similar to what he had. True. And so how do you 
justify that? How do you like just because he was going to go for the two thousand dollars? Like Hiller showed it. Like every video that we saw out there, ninety percent of them had bad reps on deadlifts. So how do you go and bomb Tudor for that? Like, it's not going to matter. He's still going to make it to the court to quarterfinals, but that's a pretty serious penalty just because he was going for it where he could have been in third place, had the same reps and nobody's going to see it. So I, I think if anything, the claw is going to help CrossFit rethink how they manage those situations going forward. It needs to. I agree. Yeah, it was good. Good stress. Uh, I mean, for time, anyone wanting to make quarterfinals should have their own leaderboard. I want to make quarterfinals. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like a lot of people who didn't make quarterfinals wanted to make quarterfinals. And I don't know how there's, I mean, there's I, a go ahead. I think was it Don Fall that brought it up about this months ago on one of the podcasts? Like by increasing it to the top 25%, like it does bring in more people into the mix of trying to qualify for it. Right. Like there, there were people that sat there in 74th percentile that actually cared. And we, yes, in the, there's a the guy week. from my gym that was 74th percentile and I felt so bad for him. Um, and he was, he was very upset by it. And right. like, so, he did the first, he did the first workout very, very poorly. Like we had paced out what like, th uh, uh, 12 minutes would be. And he just came out hot like a hurricane and just, 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 just <laughs> and, and then just exploded. And that workout alone is the reason he didn't make it. And, and he didn't carry, he didn't think anything about it until, until that 74th percentile showed up. Um, right. You think yeah. you're going to be close. You always got to redo. So I, from that standpoint, I think it did. More people were invested in it later on. Like, you know, if you're 25th, 75th percentile going into the final week, you you know, last year, you just kind of did the workout now. Oh, it'd be cool to make it like I get that for you guys. It's kind of just an afterthought making the top 25 percent, but it does bring in others that can do that. So is, is that really what I said? I said hot like a hurricane. <laughs> is that is that did I say that? Well, well, play it back. Play it back. Man, sometimes, um, sometimes, sometimes no. I'm just talking, guys. I apologize. I <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> no, no chance. Um, well, open drama. So we we've already known Tia's wrist injury has been limiting her. I don't think we knew to what not extent you. until she only does two rounds for twenty four point three. And we had no idea that Brooke was dealing with a torn labrum in her shoulder that she stops before she gets the muscle ups. Uh, my question to you guys is like, how serious and how concerned should we be going into quarterfinals? I think, I think Tia, not, not that serious. I, it, it could develop into more serious, but like as of right now, not that serious. Brooke, very serious. If she can't, if she's like, I don't feel confident to do a bar muscle up, it's four weeks away. Yeah, right? four weeks. Four weeks away. And then you're going to have to do like heavy snatches. You're going to have to do a lot of ring muscle ups. You're going to have to do wall facing handstand push-ups like there's going to be so much more stuff that you're going to have to do and it's not in like maybe she can do it but if she's scared of it like it's top 40 like and that's that it's that's hard it's not just going to be an easy train to make semifinals that's why taylor's saying he doesn't want to compete because there's certain things that he's not super confident in yet and if they show up he's not going to be super fast. So like that's, and then that alone, that one event will make you out of semifinals. So like for Brooke, I think very seriously. Um, and then for Tia, I think Tia, I think Tia will be fine. I obviously don't know the situation at all, but I think she'll be fine. I think if she wanted to, she could, she's just babying it. 
No pun intended disputed because you. she has a baby. Renata says that Brooke said she'll be fine for quarterfinals. Well, I believe it. If you don't have said, to use she it, she said open. it doesn't. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Just because she said she was good, she said she wouldn't break her elbow in twenty twenty one. What happened? Oh, Roderick, for me for time. Brooke can one hundred percent do it. She came back from elbow surgery. Had a book. She is. But, she is resilient. Very. <laughs> um. Greatest comeback of all time, I've heard. <laughs> all time. Uh, for those who don't know Meme for Time, go follow him if you don't. He's trying to get the 70,000. Um, so Maybe he out. can make it before we do. Race is on, buddy. <laughs> She's perfectly capable. So let, let, let me... To, to... <laughs> she, she, that, that got me. Uh, I didn't expect it to get me, and it got me. Uh, she... She's perfectly capable of making quarterfinals, but as far as like level of concern or semifinals, but level of concern, it is really concerning that she's scared to do that or just doesn't feel comfortable to do bar muscle ups, which isn't like the most straining thing of all time. Um, so like, yeah, I, I don't, or she's fit enough to, it's not a matter of her fitness. Right. They, they both, if healthy can make it. My concern is, what if there's a workout that's like, first of all, like how are ring muscle ups? Like those are going to be in quarterfinals. They're going to be worse than bar muscle ups on a labor, on a right. torn labor. It's like what if there's ring muscle ups and handstand walks or like, I know she oh, was doing the, the God, I uh, hope there was that strict handstand push ups, but Brian, you're just, you're making the same mistake again. This is not news, man. This is nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <They're> nothing. <laughs> <worried>. <laughs> no, I mean, like it is, it is serious, and it could go, it could go sideways really fast. Um, at and, the moment, go ahead. And with twenty five percent, like if if there's if it starts out with ring muscle ups as the first movement, and you end up taking, I mean, I don't know, five hundredth in a workout, a thousandth in a workout, Un because, unrecoverable. Yeah, you can't you can't make yeah. it up. Like it, one it takes workout. one workout that just does not work for you. Different, and Sarah. She made it to the games without a muscle up. She didn't make it to semifinals. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but that was a whole ring complex that she couldn't do with the weighted vest. So it's wildly different. Um, her making the games versus Brooke making semifinals. Right. Like it's a different ball game when you have that many people doing the workout. And so like with Tia, Handstand push-ups, handstand walking, I assume is probably the biggest issue for her. Um, and all it takes is one workout to just, you know, bomb you out of the whole competition. So you don't have that. Like semifinals, there's only 60 athletes. They're all good. We saw people have bad performance. Like everybody had one bad performance except for the, a couple of them. And that's why Sydney can make it is because she could come back from 58th or whatever place she was in. And quite frankly, got a little bit lucky with the other workouts too. They were more in her wheelhouse and she did what she had to do. Like she did very well on the other five or six scored workouts. It was just that one. <laughs> this, made me, this made me laugh. <laughs> Sarah Cooper, I watched almost the same amount of shows you're on, John. So she knows they're becoming smarter than you, John. <laughs> um, um, this is a good point. So what if she doesn't make it? Does the world end? I I'm actually interested to think about if Brooke doesn't make it. What does that mean for her? Does she another book resilient part two, part two, the comeback from resilient the <laughs> I don't know what. Oh. I mean, that'd be two That's years. So mean, but it's funny, man. <laughs> that'd be three out of the last four years. Yep. <laughs> She's like, not an athlete anymore. No, a lot of, a lot of Brooke, time. Brooke, never kid. was. Um, wow, well, she's a, she's a, <laughs> a has been. Yeah, you has been. Um, 
so I, I think it's worth watching because I think it is a bigger issue. Like a torn labrum is pretty serious. I don't know how severe the tear is, but again, if you're doing kipping chest of our pull-ups at her level and just stopping from bar muscle ups, which my guess is she probably could do it if she had to. And it was decided that she shouldn't do that. But uh, again, if you're not at your full capacity or you get hurt while you're in the middle of the workout and can't finish it, how far does that drop you down the leaderboard? And then you're done. Yeah, I agree. And I just think it's, it's not going to be a cakewalk to make semifinals. If you're not fully confident in your body. No, I think you have to be like making it to semifinals this year, especially in North America and Europe. No major mistakes at all. To the Tia concern, I I could literally. There's no way. I'm sorry. I think no she'll way. kill. She'll kill herself before she doesn't make it. For Willow, the Tia won't make it to. For Willow, make it to semifinals. Yeah, she she but, will uh, kill herself for the, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just not a possibility in my head. I'm not considering that. There's no way it'll happen. I I agree with Tyler. All right, it's, well, it's just not real. I like to think that, but I don't know. Um, and of course, we do have Rebecca Fusile and her elbow elbow gate. Um, what do you guys make of this? Mm, I think Fusile. What'd you say? There are a lot of comments on this on both sides. Like she's not locking out <laughs> and people were saying, I have the same issue. That reminds me of a, a, a scene from the office. Here's to the troops, both sides. <laughs> 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 I, I, I'm with her on this. I think she explained it well. Um, and like, I don't know. It could be a bad angle. There's, there's, I think there's more in her favor here than, than not yeah i mean and, and if you if hiller did a video like going through his workout and going through my workout too of like the way angles make you look wildly different and i think that she has bowed elbows like she said on her instagram and i also think she's riding the line pretty hard so like if you just if you pause it the way um hiller likes Hiller's to up. do then a lot of them are no reps but in a lot like when you're looking at it as a judge real time you don't get that you don't get that like you don't get to pause it at the top of the reps and yeah. you know in a competition i bet she doesn't get a lot of no reps in a competition like for these even though by letter of the law they're probably not good so like i'm fine with it but i'm not near the rep nazi that some people are and uh obviously john especially <laughs> uh, yeah we saw you on your front squats john you don't even do uh, you can't even stand up your front squats listen 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 <laughs> looks listen. good to me <laughs> listen listen it's not my fault i can move faster than y'all okay uh <laughs> no so fast what, our eyes can't no, even perceive no, it I, doing, I, I think we all should strive to move better and she's definitely riding the line um yeah but if her I, by the precedent that what CrossFit has, like if they wanted to give her a penalty, I wouldn't be mad at it. And if they wouldn't, if they wanted to just say that her score was fine, I wouldn't be mad at it. It's like for me, it's like they make the call, and then I'm just gonna ride with it. And uh, I know some people care way more than I do about that, and that's fine. Everybody has their own prerogative. But for me, that would be the case. I'd have no problem if they penalized her. I have no problem if they don't penalize her. It's close enough. That's my opinion. Well, at least she has video. She does have that. Yes. Much better than the claw. Um, how much accommodation should there be for limitations in, I don't know if you want to call it mobility or the ability, like just the physical ability to extend an elbow, a shoulder, like where does yeah. where do you draw the line in that right because like 
yes, like she may not be physically able to extend that elbow any further, but should that matter? It's funny when when do you qualify to be in like a, a the the adaptive division? Like how far until your elbow doesn't go? You know what I mean? Right. Um, like I have. It's an interesting ankle, thought because I have plenty of ankle injuries. I've broken my right ankle four years ago, almost five years ago. Like I don't adaptive it's very difficult for me to get below parallel. Should I get a a pass because I can show my ankle doesn't bend very well? Yeah. What's, yeah, you show the, the lowest you go. Like, I mean, I think I think the rule when like the weight gets heavier and you slow down and like or the last rep where you're the most locked out, like if you're able to do that, then you should do like wherever that looks like, every rep should look like that. No matter like what your but if I can't swap below parallel is. because of my ankles. Well, if you can't pass. swap below parallel, then your score really doesn't matter all that much anyway. You're not. Yeah, but, but what? It, I mean, like, what if he can compete to that standard can. though? That, I know he can't, John. But we're playing hypothetical. Talk about here. me, but let's say somebody else that's strong. Well, there's a good correlate, or there's a good example of this. What's that old guy that uh, Hiller's got beef with? Hip and steel. He cannot move to standard. He can't. That's that's fair. That's that's. And, but I'm on Hiller's side on that. You have to be able to. You have to squat below parallel. Yeah, but, but I mean, how to. how much is that different from what she's doing here? About two inches. It's <laughs> <laughs> all the difference you need, baby. <laughs> I, I don't know the right answer. Like I know like masters athletes have gone out to the field and they've shown their judge like, Hey, I can't lock out this elbow. It's been, you know, it's had surgery or my elbow or whatever. And that's what they use to judge a full lockout. I'm just questioning like, should that be the right way to do it? Like, say, or is it, is it, is it, is it, or should, it be, should it be unfortunate for Rebecca because she had surgery? Like, you can't straighten your arms out. It's not. It's not her fault. Fully locked out. Yeah. I, I well. I say it's Adler, and Adler has some kind of crazy knee injury, and he can't go to to parallel anymore, and he's going as deep as he can. But we're doing a back squat workout, and the cameras are on him because he's in first, and, and all of us it, are watching, and he's not going it, to depth. He's going as far as he can go. Like at some point, you, as CrossFit, you gotta be like, "I'm Jeff. We can't. We can't let you go out." It doesn't there. count. We're gonna look like everybody's gonna look like fools. But right. you have to be able to standardize that where that line is. I mean, I don't Chandler know. Chandler's basically got that exact thing going on with what Chandler Smith, his squat, like because his ankles, he's got his had like surgery on his ankles or, or broke his ankle or something, and like that's. And he, his form is trash because of it. And he can get down there. I don't know his specifics. So before somebody crucifies yeah. me, but Chandler's got yeah. a lot of stuff going on and he looks like trash because of that stuff. Well, he looks like trash, but he gets to parallel. But I'm saying, like, what if you just couldn't? I, then you are I, not I, allowed I to be at the CrossFit games. You are the weakest yeah. link. Goodbye. You are the weakest. <laughs> So that that was kind of my. I don't know how you would begin to assess that spin. I mean, that's the constructive answer you're looking for. I, I mean, how do you do that? Like we start getting into the exact problem that the adaptives deal with, where it's like, how do we assess? Especially like because the neurological divisions are so near and dear to my me and my wife's heart. <laughs> yeah. How do you start to assess how someone is deficient in certain ways? If it's like you, yeah. If that's you have the main enough, problem. Yeah, are are you disabled enough to be in this division? And now they have you three neuromuscular enough. divisions. They have a minor, moderate, and just neuro. So, yeah, w where do you fall on that scale depends probably where you end up finishing <laughs> against your competitors. Um, so, I mean, at a certain now, point, like I think there should be an assessment for like, hey, can you move to the standards that we care about? And if you if you can't, you might be really fit but you just can't play. Not everybody gets to play. Right. Uh, that was, that was it. Um, 
and that, that was kind of my question of, of that piece of it. Um, oh, hold on. Before we move on, yeah. um, I, I think, did Brandon Luckett end up first place in North America West? He's high. He mm -hmm. was the last time I looked at it, but I didn't look at it. Once it's been finalized, I haven't looked at it. Let me see. He probably got no rip. He moves but I think shit, it's you know? funny. Like the year I go, Brandon Luckett is barely fitter than me. He ends up first place. <laughs> He is in first place. Yes. First place. North America. 124 West. points. 124 points beat out Patrick Vellner by 15 and beat out Colton Mertens by 60. Good Too bad job. it doesn't so mean shout anything. Out to, shout out to Brandon Luckett. Bring that energy to quarterfinals. Okay. If you can't if Brandon, if you can't even make a semifinal, I mean, are we even come on now? You're basically me. It's not that's nothing. All right. Uh, I'm just saying. I shout out Fire, to Brandon. <laughs> it's a spin show now. Can they, Everybody shut can they up still, and spin. Can they what is going on? What are you guys doing? I think I, think I just want to I just want to shout him out, and then uh, he's he's killing it. That's that's all I want to say. I hope yeah. and I hope he keeps on going. I hope he makes the games this year. Uh, all right. Before we get to betting with the boys, um, I do want everybody in eight minutes. Uh, to go head over to oh, okay. Sentinel Training on YouTube. Uh, here we go. So, first live show, Sentinel Training. Uh, Taylor is going to go live. Um, Eight o'clock. Yes. A couple workouts. They're going to do talk, voiceovers over it, kind of talk, do Q&A during it. So top of the hour, seven minutes after we wrap this up, head over to Sentinel Training and uh, go check out Taylor. So in the meantime, we are going to do some bet with the boys, I guess maybe quarterfinals edition. Let's um, do it. Oh, yeah. After this week, everybody, uh, we're going to be putting some of the betting with the boys stuff on the uh, Heat One app. We will send you a notification. And you can play along with us. Uh, we're gonna keep these. These will kind of count as like, um, like just tiebreaker points. They won't be worth a lot of points, but they will make a difference once we get into quarterfinals and then probably semifinals. And I don't know if it's it's not official. It's not official, so I can't get any details. But it's possible, or possibly, Heat One has something very fun coming out for quarterfinals. That's all. Yes. That's all I can say. I was waiting for Tyler to be confused. I would very not fun, say no very to that. fun and, and unique. <laughs> very fun and unique. And y'all just wait to see what's coming. Will Will Brandstetter, you're not allowed to play. <laughs> <laughs> Once you win, you're done. Sorry. We we're gonna put uh tags like to I think like the top five. If you get top five in any game, we're gonna put like a pro tag or something next to you. Well, but how about this? Can I get a profile picture? On heat one, do I have to get first? Place? Yeah, absolutely. Send send it to my Instagram, and I'll give it. I'll get. I'll get you taken care of. But anyway, I want to give everybody a pro sticker. But for Will, I kind of if like if you get first, I want to put like senior analyst. <laughs> absolutely not. Come on now. Come on now. You can't. You can't just take. You can't take my title because of something like that. Okay. Give him like a gold star or something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Slap, Senior slap analyst. In the face. I'll go good. try to. I will. If you start doing that, I'm gonna try to invent my own <laughs> fantasy app. Okay. All right. Bet with the boys. We got five minutes. Here we go. First one. A little bit of what we were talking about in some open drama. Will Tia and or Brooke advance to semifinals? So both, only one or neither, will advance. Tyler. I'm gonna go and they both and advance. Go. They both yeah. advance. I go. I am not confident in that bet. <laughs> I am going to say <laughs> Tia will advance to semifinals, and that's it. But not Brooke. You're gonna go with Brooke, huh? No, I was asking. <laughs> Um, I cannot take that one. Oh man, this is a hard one. This I'm, is gonna, hard. I'm gonna go with only T. 
to you. And I'm really struggling about saying neither because of what we just talked about. Like one workout Ooh, and they're out. Neither. But, but That's Willow, not even an option. I, think Willow, I think Willow pushes Tia over the line. I'm afraid that there's going to be too much. Like if it's not fully healed in four weeks and there's toes to bar, ring muscle ups, like that could be devastating. I know she can do push up, handstand push ups, and a lot of other stuff, but. I just think if there's one workout that has a bunch of that stuff in it or two workouts and she can't do great in both of them, she's out. Um, yeah. I am concerned about Tia, but I'm going to say that she's going to make it. So that's what I'm going to look at. Um, in that wrist and get on yeah. down the road. Um, for all of our friends in Oceana, this one's for you next. Which man has the best quarterfinal finish in Oceana in quarterfinals. Ricky. So. Ricky. Okay. But j just individual finish, like any one workout or the no. overall quarter. No, overall first place quarterfinals Oceana. For the Jay crowd. I'm going Jay Crouch. All right. And you got Ricky. Ricky. Don't worry, I'm Tyler. Gonna, Ricky's get time him all come. fired up. It's not in quarterfinals. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I win this bet. It's different Ricky, in semifinals. Ricky, it Ricky won't win anything until the games, and then he's gonna win the games. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I get get with the programming, John. How many did Oceana get after the open? Was it two? Two. That's insane. That's not. Yeah, the women got four, and the men got two. Yeah. Um, that's Taylor telling you to hurry the hell up. He probably is. Exactly. <laughs> and our last one, two minutes before heading over to train Sentinel on YouTube over under two and a half, the number of games athletes from 2023 who fail to advance to semifinals this year. Over. Ooh, that's kind of a hard one. Like it's, you had to put thought into that. So they're, they they have to be in individual quarterfinals. They're competing, so it's not you know they're out because there's obviously a bunch of women that aren't. Oh, but advanced to semifinals. So yeah, they are yeah, in yeah. quarter I'm, I'm, in yeah, individual yeah. quarterfinals this year, and they're going to be actually competing. So like if Noah does it, that doesn't count. But if you if it, if you're a known individual athlete from 2023 CrossFit Games. So like yellow host day. Because you got you got people in mind. Right. But like Brooke and Tia don't count because they weren't in the games last year. I'm saying and where you do you get use... the two and a half number from? That's my that's my over under of how well, I, is, but uh, why? Who are your people that you secret spices? I don't I don't have I don't have the people, but we talked about last year how many people like Bethany Shadburn, Yellow Hoste, uh Vedison. Those three would not have made it. I think uh, well, Vigneault would not have made it too. So there's like four. You got to look at the bigger regions. Uh, no, because it's make it to semifinals. Those the games athletes. I know that's what I'm regions. saying. I'm not worried about the okay. smaller regions, but it's like just America or yellow... Europe is really the only things you can think about. Yeah, and I think that's mostly on the women's side. I'm gonna um, say oh. Just because I feel like the turnover has to be there, but like games to semifinals is so hard because it's such a you That'll definitely should if you made the games. I'm taking I'm over. Going over. I'm going over. over. All, all over. All right. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for the spin. Thanks for joining. Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe and then head over to Train Sentinel on YouTube. They should be firing up here any second now so if you haven't watched their content it is really good um it's less of taylor i don't know what this one will be but like i like their workout <laughs> their content me. is really good it's less of taylor it, no <laughs> i really <laughs> like it's less of taylor losing his mind and saying weird shit all the time it like he he's a different animal in this so it's like if you if you like taylor at all or like that stuff at all go watch it uh it's a different side of taylor yep all right guys Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next week.